that this would be a crowd that encompasses a lot of different circles. And the one thing I can promise you is that if you see someone you don't know and you introduce yourself and you make an effort, you'll be glad you did. Because everybody here is interesting. And we all have this wonderful common denominator. Uh, when we were planning the menu for this tonight, uh, Sarah said, well, you, you know, Arnold's favorite hors d'oeuvre is cocktail weenies. <laughs> <laughs> 75 years of Keeneland, racing as it was meant to be. <laughs> Of course we'll have cocktail meetings. <laughs> it's called the chef. And he always just said yes. He told me tonight he had to go out to Kroger's and get some. <laughs> for, for, for the first time in 75 years, I'd like to introduce you to cocktail meetings as they were meant to be. <laughs> Come over there. Everyone have one before you leave and just sort of do a silent toast. The story they asked me to tell, we, everybody's been telling trying to figure out what stories to tell, because you kind of want them, they don't need to be PG, but they, they don't need to be X either, and not that there would be any of those. Uh, in, the, in the 1980s, some of you remember, Arnold was flying high, uh, figuratively and literally, and he was spending a lot of time on Delta Airlines, and he was going all over the world, and at this particular time, uh, uh, he, they were all doing pretty well, so everywhere that Arnold went, he went first class. And uh, it was at a time when he would say, at, at his point in time in life, where he found himself living alone uh, for a little period of time. And he was without any accompaniments. He was without silverware, he was without plates, he was without anything. And he decided that uh, the, 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 the supplier of all this perhaps should be Delta Airlines. So every time he'd get on a Delta flight, he'd put a little... He put a little uh, fork in his coat pocket, a little knife in his coat pocket. Well, one night he's on an airplane, and it's across country, and he gets through with his dinner, and he's putting his fork and knife in his pocket, and the guy sitting next to him kind of looks at him, gives him one of those looks like, what are you doing? And Arnold said, uh, are, you, are you through with your meal? And <laughs> Would you mind if I had your silverware? <laughs> and the guy looked at him, and he, Arnold just wiped it off with a napkin, and put it in his pocket. <laughs> ordered another drink and leaned over and, and decided they'd start talking with each other. And Arnold said, man, what do you do? And he said, well, I'm the senior vice president of Delta Airlines. <laughs> so embarrassed, he said, I just, I, I'm living alone right now, and I don't have a knife and a fork, and I just, I'm so embarrassed about this. And so Arnold goes on his entertaining mode, and he charms the guy. By the time they, they landed, they were best friends. And Arnold said, if you ever get to Lexington, call me up, and I want to have you over for dinner. <laughs> so, the guy, of course, had figured out by this time that he was, Arnold was going to be lovely company. So about a month later, this Delta Vice President, shockingly enough, calls Arnold and said, I'm going to be in town next Tuesday. I'd love to have dinner with you. Arnold said, that's great. Thank you. Arnold calls the Delta Airlines desk out here at the airport, tells them the story. They think it's hilarious. He goes out, and there's a room out here that is full of Delta stuff. He gets a truckload of everything that was in this room moved to his house. He had 10 place settings of Delta Spanish. He had hundreds, hundreds of these little bottles. Every place that he had their own Delta salt and pepper shaker. He had silverware. He did everything that you could think of with Delta. And he had a little section closed off, French doors. So they came, the, Delta, the vice president came in, and there were a few other people. And they go through a cocktail, and then they sit down to dinner. Del Arnold opens up the door, and there is Delta Airlines. His door. And, the, and the vice president just fell down laughing. If that's not quintessential Arnold, I don't know what it is. So, with that, we're, we're glad you're here. Everybody have a weenie. And